Tri, I'm here with a new video and as you may know this is my Nora Black Cutie Week and we are on the second to last day and it is time for one of the newer ones that is Midnight. This is the blue one that looks like this. I do really like this one but at the same time not. Blue is not my favorite but I think it's fun that they do something more monochromatic even though I don't know what this brownish is but I think it's fun for them to do something that is a little bit more monochromatic so yeah I'm looking into this and it's going to be a blue look even though it's not my super favorite to do but I will try my best and I will try to keep this as simple as possible so for this super simple look what I think is going to be super simple look. I will go in with sapphire on my whole lid. I might blend it out with air in my crease. I will see how it will look if I only take sapphire first. I usually don't do that, but I'm trying today. And then I might take Alma in my inner corner and I might deepen everything down with the blue hour. I'm not sure yet, but I will start with sapphire. And I don't know about my brush choice, I don't know about anything. But we will see, maybe this isn't a good brush. This is a bigger fluffy brush from Kaleidos. No, I'm not, I'm not going to have control over this. So I take one of my absolute favorite brushes that is from Linda Holberg, LH Cosmetics. And have this on my whole lid. And I don't know why I keep looking in the mirror in the little palette when I have a big mirror in front of me. I have no idea. Sometimes I do not know how my brain works. And sometimes I just feel that maybe it doesn't work at all. Okay, this feels so strange to just put this over my whole lid. And can you hear the cat drinking water? It is in us. Such a party pooper. <laughs> this was so strange to do it the other way around. And I don't know like how high up I will take it. Maybe like this and then take lighter one to uh, blend it out. I wonder if this is going to stay in my eye. Maybe. And I'm sorry if I seem a little bit stressed in this video, but to be honest, I am. And that's mainly because I I was so eager to uh, do this theme week but then it started out really good but then uh, time may catch it catch it up then time it was not on my side anymore so today is wednesday when i'm and this is going up on saturday and i don't know i often am like that when i'm doing some kind of project or anything i'm really good in the beginning then in the middle everything is fucking up and then at the end i'm so stressed i will have time tomorrow to film the last video <laughs> oh, but i have to edit as well But you don't need to feel sorry for me because I want to do this. But it's just like time planning. It's not one feature that I have. And I'm getting crazy about this freaking eyelid. Like my dry patch, I really need to like stretch it out. It's so dry. Okay, do I look like a crazy pants? Yes. I do. 
And should I have it like this? I really hope that this will work. I really hope that my little plan will work. Okay, I'm a little bit afraid of this. So I'm going in with air on this one. I'm going to take it in my crease and hopefully everything will look a little bit more put together. Whew. Because if this doesn't work, I don't have time to redo this makeup. And honestly, on, honestly, okay, I don't want to either. But now I'm getting a little bit scared because this seems like it's not working out that good. Poop! Poop, poop, poop. Why didn't I take this first? Why do I believe that I can test out new things? Okay, I'm going in with the dark. Oh my god. Was this what I did imagine this look to be? Not in a million years. And I don't know why I try to do new things when it comes to blue eyeshadow because blue eyeshadow It is not my guess whatsoever. If somebody told me like you can never do blue eyeshadow again, I would be completely fine with that. This looks just like a blue mess. I do not like this. But should I trust the process and like if I do my base makeup? Put on a red little lippy to this. Will everything feel okay in the end? <sighs> and I also have like blue specks all over my face. I guess if you like blue and you don't try to do stupid things, this palette should be good for you, but I don't like blue and I try to do stupid things. So, yeah, maybe this isn't uh, for me, but I know like sometimes when I'm doing a look and in the middle everything feels like total shit. It's like, okay, I want to wash this off. I haven't washed off many looks in my YouTube life or in my life <laughs> overall, and I don't think this will be a look that I will wash off. You shouldn't put gas on a fire, but that feel like it, that is exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to fix my base and my brows. Hopefully everything will feel better after that. And with my red lippy that I'm going to take, I just have to choose which one. So maybe I can draw some attention to the lips from the eyes. This is not a happy camper. I will see if we can save this. If I can save this. Um, okay, this is the finished look. For my wash line, I used Prance. And for my lips, I used Rumors from Nabla. And do you know when you have one of these days where it feels like everything is going against you? The weather is against you, the people you talk to who is against you, yourself, you yourself is against you. I have one of those days. And I'm trying to do a blue makeup and I I don't like blue eyeshadow for me it's mostly because I think it makes me yeah, I have to check this out in the viewfinder but I feel um, I am pale uh, but when I wear blue I think I look even paler than I am I think it washes me out a little bit I do not have any problems with other color colors or like with black lipstick or a gray lipstick but just with blue eyeshadow we are not vibing and yeah on this day I decided let's do an all blue look I feel like shit <laughs> other than that 
I did put Alma in my inner corner, so I only used three shades again. <laughs> so Air, Sapphire and Alma. And I guess if you like blue, this might be a look for you. I would uh, recommend to go in with the crease shade first and then go in with the blue shimmer. But I really like this blue shimmer and maybe not just on me. And maybe I would have liked it more if I did a half cut crease or a hail wire or something. Mm, but yeah, I, yeah. Mm. Blue and me, we aren't friends. But the palette is good, it's just me that doesn't like blue. And uh, this day is not a good day. <laughs> Maybe I should just end it like that. I love the lipstick though. This is one of my favorites from Nabla. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, I guess that is all for this video. So tomorrow on Sunday, it's coming the last. And it is with the palette I have lost, apparently. No, here it is. I have not lost it. With the analog palette. And it feels like I can't like fail with this one. Maybe today I could. <laughs> Tomorrow I think I hope not. Hope not will fail. I'm failing with talking. I hope it will be a good look with this. And tomorrow. You just have to wait to see. I'm also doing a review on all the palettes. And maybe I can just say it right now that midnight is not going to be on the top. Because of this. I really hope you liked this video. <laughs> Even though maybe I'm not there. I sound I sound a little bit annoyed and I am a little bit annoyed. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope that I will see you tomorrow with hopefully a happier me and a more like pleased me with my makeup look. So yeah, I really hope I will see you tomorrow and I hope you did like this video. <laughs> Bye!